Several new developments in South Suburban Dalton today. First, the state comptroller has suspended some payments to the village because it Buckle up, everyone today. We've got a wild ride ahead of us as we delve into a scandal that's been gripping South Suburban Dalton, Illinois. The story centers around Mayor Tiffany Henyard, whose actions have plunged the village into chaos, leaving many wondering how it all spiraled out of control. From the misuse of taxpayer money to an impending arrest warrant, this saga has all the makings of a soap opera, except it's playing out in real life. So how did we get here, and what's next for the embattled mayor? Let's dive in. Tiffany Henyard's rise to power seemed like a breath of fresh air. A young, ambitious woman, Henyard made history as the first female mayor of Dalton, promising to bring change and a new beginning to the village. But as the saying goes, power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. From the outset, Henyard appeared to take full advantage of her newfound influence, but it's only now, as the walls begin to close in, that we're seeing the full extent of her misdeeds. Henyard's leadership has been marred by allegations of financial mismanagement, and it all came to a head when the state comptroller suspended some payments to the village. Why? Because Dalton failed to follow the law by providing required financial reports. This move signaled the beginning of the end for Henyard's administration, as more and more revelations about her lavish spending habits began to surface. Luxury SUVs, first-class flights, fine dining, all at the expense of Dalton's taxpayers. Henyard lived like a celebrity, all while the village she was supposed to serve crumbled around her. But now, with federal authorities closing in, Henyard is scrambling to shift the blame. Her once loyal assistant, Keith Freeman, has turned whistleblower, and the details he's revealing are nothing short of explosive. Let's rewind a bit to when things seemed relatively under control, or at least when Henyard managed to keep her actions under wraps. Up until recently, she had a smooth enough operation. Sure, there were whispers of corruption, but nothing concrete enough to bring her down. Even as financial records began to show questionable charges, Henyard brushed it all off. She acted as though she believed her own hype that she could get away with anything. Henyard's confidence was so high that she even hinted at a second term, seemingly unconcerned that her extravagant spending might eventually catch up with her. And let's not forget the key player in this drama, Keith Freeman. For years, Freeman was Henyard's right-hand man, the one who supposedly made things happen behind the scenes. Together, they managed to maintain a facade of normalcy, even as the evidence against them began to pile up. Credit card statements reveal charges for first-class flights, high-end hotels like the Four Seasons, and dining at fancy restaurants, all hidden under the guise of attending conferences. But now, it's all coming back to bite her, and Freeman's cooperation with federal authorities is the final nail in the coffin. Sources close to the situation say that Freeman has started spilling the beans in exchange for leniency. The information he's providing paints a damning picture of Henyard's administration. But rather than accept responsibility, Henyard is desperately trying to pin all the blame on Freeman. According to her, Freeman made all the decisions regarding the extravagant expenditures, and she's positioning herself as a naive newcomer who didn't understand how things were done in Dalton. It's almost laughable. Henyard was a village trustee for eight years before becoming mayor, so the idea that she was clueless about how things work is absurd. The truth is, she knew exactly what was going on and actively participated in it. The luxury SUVs, the $47,000 trips, and the $25,000 in unexplained credit card charges all point to a pattern of reckless and self-indulgent behavior that she now has to answer for. But here's where things get really interesting. Henyard's inner circle is starting to crack. Those who once benefited from her time in office are now jumping ship, providing authorities with even more information. It's almost as if everyone who once helped her build her so-called empire is now tearing it down from the inside. Henyard's strategy of blaming Freeman isn't just weak, it's downright insulting to anyone with half a brain. 
The fact that she's been in local government for nearly a decade makes it impossible to believe she was just a clueless puppet. And let's not forget the personal photographer who billed the village $3,400 for capturing those oh-so-glamorous moments of her public service. It's one more example of how Henyard has used taxpayer money to fund her own lavish lifestyle. The most damning aspect of this whole scandal isn't even the money, it's the sheer arrogance with which Henyard has conducted herself. While the people of Dalton struggle with crumbling infrastructure, rising crime rates, and financial instability, their mayor has been living it up. It's not just about the money, it's about the lack of accountability and the blatant disregard for the people she was elected to serve. So how did someone like Tiffany Henyard manage to climb to the top in the first place? It wasn't without controversy. Before she was mayor, Henyard already had a questionable track record. In 2016, she was arrested for criminal trespass to vehicles, a minor incident perhaps, but one that speaks to a pattern of questionable behavior. But that didn't stop her from winning the mayoral race in 2021, becoming the first woman to hold the office in Dalton. Under her leadership, Dalton has gone from bad to worse. The village is now saddled with millions of dollars in debt and the financial mismanagement under Henyard's watch is nothing short of catastrophic. The lavish spending on herself and her entourage has left the village's coffers nearly empty, with little to show for it. Meanwhile, essential services have been neglected, and the people of Dalton are paying the price. For a while, it seemed like Henyard was untouchable above the law even, but the tide is turning and federal authorities are closing in. The FBI has already served subpoenas on both the village of Dalton and Thornton Township, where Henyard also serves as supervisor. They're digging deep into financial records, looking for evidence of corruption, fraud, and other criminal activities, and from what's being reported, they're finding plenty. One of the most shocking aspects of this whole saga is the way Henyard has weaponized the police force to serve her own interests. It's one thing to misuse public funds, but it's another level of corruption to turn the police into your personal security detail. Under her watch, the police budget has ballooned, with hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent on overtime pay for officers who are essentially acting as her bodyguards. And this misuse of power has contributed to rising crime in the village as resources that should have been used to protect the public were instead diverted to protect Henyard. Henyard's abuse of power doesn't stop there. She's also been accused of using her position to retaliate against anyone who crosses her. Former allies who dared to speak out against her have found themselves on the receiving end of her wrath fired, demoted, or otherwise pushed out. And who does she replace them with? People with their own shady pasts, of course. Take, for example, Lissett Lacey, the deputy police chief 